Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share some amazing multitasking features for your new 2018 iPad. This is an absolutely great product, but if you don't know how to use it properly, you're not getting maximum owner satisfaction. So let's dive in and discover all the amazing multitasking features and tips to enhance your iPad ownership. Before we do dive in, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online for the latest updates. All right, so the first thing I want to have you guys understand is before we dive into the details uh, is about this dock at the bottom here. So this dock can have a maximum of 16 apps on it. Now, the one thing you have to realize is uh, there's a divider over here. Uh, on the right side of the divider, you have three apps. These apps you don't have a control over. These are just the apps that's going to show up here uh, the more you use them. So all the frequently used apps are going to show on this side of the actual uh, dock. Now, if you look at the divider and look on the left side, you have the other apps that you do have a control over, meaning you can drag and drop apps into this dock uh, to have them available to you on a priority basis. And again, one thing to understand is the maximum number of apps you can have on the left side of this divider is 13. So you can have 13 apps here and three apps here, making the total apps you can have on the dock 16. And of course, obviously, if you pull it up like this uh, from bottom to top, it brings up the app switcher, which is also part of multitasking. You can switch between apps from here seamlessly as you desire. Okay, so if you want to bring up the dock when an application is actually launched, if you pull it up, the dock comes up, but if you continue pulling up, the, uh, the app switcher is going to show up so you can switch between active apps. If you have any other active apps, they're going to show up right here, and you can, of course, swipe over. All right? All right, so let me just remove this real quick, and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the uh, slide over multitasking tactic. So let's launch an application really quickly. So let's uh, launch Safari real quick. And let's say that while you're reading Safari or, or you're browsing in Safari, you wanted to quickly check the news to see if anything uh, special is happening at the moment. What you would have to do is you have to bring up the dock just like this and then grab the news application or any app that you want, to be honest, music application, mails, uh, app drawer, messages, whatever you want. You just drag it and you just dump it right there. It's going to go to the right side and it's going to launch the actual application. Now, this is called a slide over view. Uh, there's a couple things you can do here. You can grab this slide over. You can put it over here if you want to uh, right, I mean left justified, or if you want to right justified, you can have it on this side. Uh, you just use this top bar to drag it wherever you want. Now, in this view, you can continue using Safari if you desired. Like you can just uh, go browse other places if you want. That's not a problem at all. Uh, but the point with the slide over is to take a quick glance at an application and just get rid of it. So if you are done looking at the news, you're done uh, with your quick glance, all you do is you grab this and you swipe it away and it's gone. So that ends the slide over view. And of course, the next more important thing is the split screen multitasking, which is true multitasking without the slide over. So it starts the same way. Let's uh, do a uh, split screen multitasking using the news application like we just did. So again, you bring up the dock, you grab the news application, you dump it right here. And then to activate split screen multitasking, instead of sliding this away, again, tap the bar and slide it down like this and let go. And that activates real split screen multitasking with side by side view. And you can use this divider line here uh, to change the size of the actual windows for a realistic multitasking experience. So I can do whatever I want over here and I can do the same thing right over here. Okay. So let's say you are doing multitasking and you want to end your multitasking uh, view. Uh, let's say you want to keep the news and you want to get rid of Safari. All you do is you grab the slider and you just slide the one you don't want away. Okay. So watch this slide away. It's gone. Uh, and with the same token, if I wanted to keep Safari, so let's now slide over. Now it's split screen multitasking. And if I wanted to keep Safari, I can simply drag that away and then Safari stays with me. So that is the split screen multitasking. Now there's one more thing you can do with the split screen multitasking. Um, Apple has been presenting this option as a PC like experience. So with the split screen multitasking, you actually have the option to drag and drop 
files. Let me launch my mails application over here. And as you can see, I'm about to type a new message. In this message, in the body of the actual message, I want to add some pictures. And I want to add the pictures from my photos uh, app. So all I have to do is I will bring up the doc, uh, grab the photos folder over here. I recommend that you have all the apps you want to multitask with on this side of the dock. I'm lucky that it's here right now. But again, I grab this guy, I dump it right here, and let me activate split screen multitasking real quick, just like that. And let me just make it even. And now, uh, let's say I want to send this picture to whoever I'm sending that message to. All I do is drag and drop this photo right here and boom, now that picture is available to be sent to whoever I'm going to be sending this message to. Okay, so that's drag and drop feature in split screen multitasking. And it's definitely available with most of the apps that Apple creates. And more and more third party apps are also supporting this fantastic feature. The next multitasking feature on the iPad is uh, the picture in picture view. Basically, when you're using a video viewing application such as Netflix, what you can do is you can minimize the window and continue watching it while you're doing other things on the side. So let me launch Netflix to show you this example. So you, let's just launch Netflix and let's just start to play a video here. Let's just play this video right here. And uh, as this video is playing, let's say that I want to do something, okay? You could be watching a movie, your favorite TV show, whatever. All you do is when picture in picture is enabled and it is enabled by default, uh, you press the home button and as you can see, the window goes to the side and then I can continue working on Safari as I'm watching the video or the movie. Uh, what you can do with this guys, you can move it around. You can put it on this side. You can put it over here. You can put it over here, but you cannot put it in the middle. Okay. If you put it somewhere here, it defaults to the closest corner. And then you can also make it a little bit bigger. So that's actually a very good feature, uh, easier to see. And as I'm doing this, I can continue working on another application for a couple seconds before I go back into the Netflix application or any other video application that supports this feature. So when you're done watching, I mean, looking at this stuff, you can tap this guy and all you do is tap this button and it goes back to the full screen format. So that's picture in picture. Absolutely fantastic. And then if you want to just continue working on the Safari or whatever app you're looking at, and you just want to cancel this, you just tap on X, boom, that closes the application. And the final thing I want to talk about in regards to multitasking is the options you can enable or disable in regards to multitasking on the iPad. So what you want to do is you want to go to the settings, then you want to go to general, and then go to multitasking and dock. From here, you can in fact disable multitasking. So when you disable this first option, you cannot do a slide over or split screen multitasking. If you disable this guy, you cannot do picture in picture uh, view. These are just a bunch of gestures you can actually look into, but that's not what I'm covering in this video. But these gestures are things like this. You can pinch the screen to go to the home screen and stuff like that. It lists them right here. You can read them and just play with them. Uh, but this one here has to do with the dock. So if I disable this option, it says show suggested and recent apps. So if I disable this, and if I pull up the dock, those three um, recently used apps or commonly used apps are not going to show up anymore. So you're going to have a basic uh, dock over here. I like to keep it just in case so I, I make sure that that is enabled. Now, one thing, when you disable this and re-enable this, the recent apps do reset. Okay, so they're not going to show up right away until you start to use applications again. So if I start to use Safari several times, news applications several times, again and again it's going to start to show up slowly uh, on my dock over here all right but that brings us to the end of this multitasking video for your new ipad 2018. it's certainly a fantastic ipad and if you learn how to use it you can maximize your ownership of this product now make sure to subscribe to saki tech and give this video a thumbs up and also if you do use twitter instagram or facebook make sure to follow me on all at saki tech online for the latest updates. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and have a fantastic day, guys.